I'm Xiaoming Kai. Uh, I'm uh, uh, one of the teaching staff of this, this course. I, I was a, a course leader for two years. I'm currently teaching two modules uh, in the course. One is uh, uh, atmospheric composition and the physics, and the other is uh, air pollution meteorology. This program is special because it's the only uh, course on air quality management uh, and control in the UK. Uh, this is also special in terms of combination of uh, meteorology, climatology and air quality management. Uh, it is special because uh, in the UK still suffer from uh, air quality issues. For example, uh, the uh, last month uh, the Supreme Court of the UK has ordered the government to uh, make an action on the uh, NO2 uh, air quality standard because they actually are not meeting that standard for many years. Uh, also, in develop, developing countries, uh, air quality is an ongoing issue. For example, in uh, China, India, Middle East countries, uh, they notice that there are quite a lot of smog days happening, ongoing and in increasing. So this is a very special course for them. The program aimed at, uh, those, at those students who've got uh, bachelor's degrees equivalent to UK's second class in the, some uh, special areas, uh, in particularly environmental sciences, environmental engineering, uh, meteorology, climatology, mathematics, physics and chemistry. Uh, we also uh, would actually let the overseas applicants to know that English requirement is the uh, same as a university standard. This program entails in our four aspects, we will actually try to summarize as a four. The first one is about uh, processes in terms of uh, uh, what drives air quality going bad. Uh, we're talking about physical processes and, and the chemical processes. And then the second aspect is about uh, how these air pollutants coming out in terms of sources and how these pollutants affect people's health, etc. in terms of effects. So causes and effects of air pollutants. And the third one will be uh, engineering solution in terms of limit the emissions from uh, uh, those sources ranging from the power stations and the vehicles. And then the fourth one is about uh, air quality management and how actually we understand the legislative framework uh, that the national uh, government and the national level and the local authorities to take to control the air quality. Uh, how we actually we deliver that, we actually deliver it through uh, uh, various ways. Uh, deliver it through uh, lectures, through, through uh, workshops, through uh, practicals, and also we have uh, our visits, site visits, and then we have uh, at least two sites for people to look at for practical reasons. And then they will visit uh, uh, Birmingham City Council's environmental department, and then we also visit a company called uh, uh, Violia, our site to actually convert waste to en uh, energy. So uh, that actually can be quite attractive to students. Our graduates, we're looking at their career uh, plan and then uh, this program actually will train students to do, to be able to take some jobs like uh, our government sectors, could be a uh, national level or could be local authorities. The job they can do uh, for example, they can be an uh, air quality advisor, they can be uh, our environmental uh, officers. And the second part is actually private sectors. Uh, they can uh, do their uh, uh, jobs as an environment consultant. And then the third uh, direction for our students, uh, our graduates to go, is to for uh, advanced research, for example, PhD studies. Uh, we train them uh, into these uh, uh, directions. Of course, they need to know the principles, how things actually are operating, and they need to know the policies and how these op uh, are operate, operating in the sort of management level. And then they need to have uh, skills. And then we train them uh, to have uh, research methods. We train them to have uh, some practicals to be done. Uh, my teaching uh, uh, is actually I really enjoy some uh, aspects that interaction with the students. Because the class is not too big. We only have about sort of 10 to 15 students in the class and you know, interaction becomes a very, very important part of teaching. I enjoy that. 
I enjoy students answering questions. I enjoy students actually raise their hands and then they answer and they discussing and argue with me. So that actually is really something that I, I enjoy. And the students' involvement is a very important part of our teaching in this program. I uh, also uh, really, you know, have uh, some favorite bits about because uh, my uh, background is uh, uh, meteorology and the numerical modeling. Uh, I actually really have some uh, uh, favorite bits about how you know, meteorology is playing a role in terms of controlling uh, air quality. So that actually is something that other uh, environmental air quality probably related courses uh, didn't have that sort of aspects. I enjoy that.